Hey there, all you barbarians and witch doctors. It is time for Ask GameSpot. I'm Chris Waters. Join me, Eric Tay. It's his first time on the show. Say hi, Eric. Hi, hi guys. He brought prizes. We're giving away some Diablo 3 books because Diablo 3 has arrived on consoles. And you've got questions about it. We've got answers. Eric, more specifically, has the answers, but we've got prizes. So let's kick it off. Our first question comes from Mark McCarrick over Facebook, who must have been paying attention during Diablo 3's PC release when there's all that always online brouhaha. Will you have to have a constant internet connection to play Diablo 3 on consoles? Well, Mark, you're actually in luck this time around, because guess what? You don't need internet to play at least a single player portion of this, so if you want to enjoy the game by yourself, you're all good to go, but if you do want to play online multiplayer, you're going to need internet for that, though. Next up, Spike Mugen wonders, will your character be saved on the Battle.net server or what? Well, you know what, Spike Mugen? Sorry, but they're not tied together. So your console version has nothing to do with the Battle.net version. It just stays tied to your Xbox Live account or your PSN account. So if I wanted to take my monk on the road to a friend's place, I could totally do that? Yeah, I mean, as long as you go through the game, you play, it's got a little top right corner is going to show you, hey, look, it's saving. Mm -hmm. Great, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So then you, you can either get it from the cloud with PSN Plus, or you can get it from Xbox Gold. Or you can actually like download it onto a USB stick, bring it to your friend's house, plug it in, download again, and it's like, hey, there's my dude, there's my monk. All right. We've got Bob Jones wondering, somewhat dubiously, will there be a Wii U version? By the way, actually wants to play it on the Wii U, not trying to be funny. Well, Bob Jones, got some unfortunate news for you because I don't think it's coming to the Wii U, at least anytime soon. Mm -hmm. um, It'd actually be pretty cool, I think, if you could actually play on the Wii U pad, uh, you know, either just to, you know, be, have it portable, wherever you want to do it, or just for different features of like, hey, I want to manage my inventory or equipment. I gotta equip my sweet new greaves, but I don't want to go to the pause menu. It's a pipe dream. Wii U version's not happening. And of course, the all-important question coming in from Derek Martins, is it better on console than on PC? Well, Derek, uh, hard to say if it's actually better or worse. Uh, there's actually, I'll go through the differences instead. All right, what do we got? Um, so some of the differences is immediately console. Again, you don't need online. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a pretty big one. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there is a like roll-ish evade button that's on console that isn't on PC. Um, also, for all those fans out there, there aren't, there isn't a real money auction house anymore. So you don't get to, you don't have to deal with the, the auction house no anymore. No wheeling and dealing. No more wheeling Your loot and is your loot. And speaking of, there's like a boost to loot acquisition something. Yeah, so the loot is not only better mm -hmm. uh, because there are certain loots that you can't even get in uh, the PC version on console, but it seems to be a little bit more abundant because the game realizes, hey, you might need this and there's no auction house to help you out. So, um, okay, yeah. I see it. Of course, there's also resolution changes and control differences and a whole bunch of other stuff. Stay tuned next week for Carolyn Pettit's review on the console versions for the final word. We've got one from Johan Winnington wanting to know how does the multiplayer work? Well, Johan, it's uh, pretty simple. It's either two to four player co-op locally, or you can also go online two to four player multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I think there's also a system link. So as long as you have two consoles, two games, you could actually like hook up two different TVs and dark, boom. Would you say, I mean, local's fun because you're all on the couch together, but then there's the drawback also of you. Anytime someone needs to manage their inventory, you all have to wait. So that gives online a little bit of an edge, but sort of depends on your preference and your availability, I guess. Yeah. And finally, we get to introduce Eric to our old friend, XX Naruto fan XX, who wonders, if the forehead protector from Naruto dropped in Diablo 3, what would its stats be? Well, Naruto fan, I would have to say, if it did drop, it probably would have movement speed increase. You probably have a percentage chance to proc a clone, mm. but you would definitely have at least negative 30 intellect. And with that, we come to the end of our Diablo 3 on console special. And guess what? You all win prizes! Books, GameSpot Extra Large t-shirt, it's all coming your way. Thanks for participating. Next week, it's going to be Metal Gear Solid 5. We had Peter Brown take an exclusive look at it. He's going to be answering all your questions, so be sure to tweet your questions to us to hashtag AskGameSpot or hit us up on Facebook. All that social media stuff, get it over here. We'll give you some of this stuff. It'll be cool. I'm Chris Waters for Eric Tay. Thanks for watching Ask GameSpot. We'll see you next week.